everyone, my name is Patrick O'Grady, and this is IELTS Hanoi Live. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, let me take a minute to introduce myself. As I said before, my name is Patrick O'Grady, and I've been teaching for a while. I taught in Korea for three years, I taught in Saudi Arabia for five years, and I've been teaching English in Vietnam for ten years. And we've been working with... <laughs> My wife and I started this company out a few years ago, and uh, we've been helping Vietnamese improve their, their communication skills, their pronunciation skills, and uh, help get them uh, better jobs and get them overseas to study, and we're doing all that. Uh, maybe you don't know what uh, IELTS is, so let me give you a brief introduction. IELTS, I-E-L-T-S, is the International English Language Testing System. And it tests you on four different skills. It tests you on your listening, your reading, your writing, and your speaking. And the uh, we help you develop all those skills so you can get over to uh, Australia or Canada and uh, we've actually we've just started up a new program where we're working with a new company called uh, SOS Canada and we're uh, very excited about it. It seems that we're, uh, we're there's a, we've got a few people that we're able to help out with this. And let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and keep going. Um, so today, I think I've got a really good lesson for you. We're going to be looking at the family, and the family is quite often uh, brought up in the IELTS test, and so and we'll be looking at some family idioms to help you get a better score. Um, an idiom is kind of a saying uh, that uh, holds meaning beyond its words. And being able to use them in the IELTS is in the IELTS speaking or, or the writing, of course, is a really big plus. Uh, it, uh, about twenty-five percent of your mark in, in the IELTS is on vocabulary in, in the speaking and in the writing, it's using uh, high-quality vocabulary. So, if you're able to use some high-level vocabulary that we'll be looking at today, it is a Great plus. So, what else do I have to talk to you about? I'm waiting for my wife to, to, to get over here. She's very busy these days. She's up teaching and, and running around, and um, I'm hoping we can find her in a couple of minutes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, who's this? Who's this? Hello, hello. Hello, Lenny. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, hi, Patrick. Hi there. How are you? Hi, everyone. I'm here to help. <cười> uh, xin chào tất cả các bạn, uh, mình đến từ IELTS Hà Nội và mình và thầy Patrick thì uh, có thành lập uh, trung tâm cách đây hơn uh, 9 năm, gần 10 năm với một cái mong muốn là giúp các bạn có được điểm số IELTS tốt hơn. Hôm nay thì mình sẽ có mặt ở đây để cùng uh, giúp thầy Patrick uh, dành cho những cái bạn mà chưa làm quen với IELTS nhiều lắm uh, để có thể uh, làm quen với các cái từ vựng. À, thì nếu như có chỗ nào khó có thì mình sẽ dịch giúp các bạn một chút để chúng ta có thể học tốt hơn. Uh, is that okay? That's okay. Yeah. We're doing pretty good. We've got a whole 40 people watching us. It's amazing. Uh, from Ayo Sanoi. From Ayo Sanoi. Oh. Yeah. That's amazing. Great. Yes. It's been a long great. time you didn't live here. No, no. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I really do. So should we get started? Should we get studying? Maybe we can ask our... Uh, we're going to ask you guys to do some writing today. It's a bit interactive. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start by saying... I want you to type in READY. Can you type in down below? R-E-A-D-Y. READY. Let's get going. Cherry Nguyen. Hello, Cherry Nguyen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Are you ready? Can you do it? <laughs> Uh, chào Cherry. À, nếu mà các bạn đã sẵn sàng rồi thì chúng ta có thể uh, comment xuống phía dưới là ready để chúng ta cùng với thầy Patrick học các cái idiom rất là dễ sử dụng cũng như là các cái uh, từ vựng và collocation ở trong mạng uh, topic family hôm nay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the plan. Yeah. So um. Mm -hmm. This topic is quite big in IELTS, right? I think it's very important in IELTS. If uh, you really want to have a strong understanding of family, 
Okay. Uh, in, in part one, it very often comes up. I, I don't want to give it a percent, I don't know, 20%, maybe 50%, but it comes up a lot in part one. And you can see it in part two as well. All right. Nguyen, you are ready. Let's do this. Me, you are ready. Whoa, -ho. we got 65 people watching, guys. Fantastic. I do appreciate you uh, tuning in. So, um, our first family idiom. I want you guys to write it down. The first family idiom is, blood is thicker than water. Blood is thicker than water. Hmm, what the heck does that mean? Um, blood is thicker than water. I think this idiom is uh, quite, quite close to Vietnamese idiom. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, well what's the Vietnamese idiom? Oh, um, it's describe, uh, it describe how it's, it's better to have like your own blood hmm. than, than a girlfriend. No, like fan relationship or outsider. Right. So mm -hmm. once again, I'm going to ask you guys to write down below. Blood is thicker than water. Can you write that down? Mọi người có thể viết một cái idiom này xuống. Thầy có chút vừa đọc xuống được không ạ? À, để miêu tả về một mối quan hệ trong gia đình thì thầy vừa đọc cái câu idiom gì? Và sau đó thì chúng ta sẽ đặt câu cùng với cái idiom này để xem là mình sẽ dùng trong câu như thế nào nhé. One more time, Patrick. Blood is thicker than water, and uh, very good. So, did you explain what it meant in Vietnamese? Oh, I, I haven't. You I haven't. haven't. <laughs> All right. um, Cherry, you got it. Awesome. Pa pow. Cherry got it. Yes. Yeah. Let's give them the answer, shall we? Sure. Blood is thicker than water. Blood is thicker than water. Blood. Blood là máu đúng không nào? À, cùng một dòng máu thì là gì ạ? Uh, thicker, uh, mạnh hơn, dày hơn là gì ở uh, waters, uh, khỏe hơn, đúng không nào? Thì uh, ý câu này muốn nói ở đây là gì ạ? Uh, chúng ta có thể tưởng tượng ở Berlin tưởng ngay đến là một uh, dòng máu đào hồi nào cũng lã đúng không? Đó, thì uh, đấy chính là cái câu mà ý, ý muốn nói là chúng ta hãy gì ạ? Uh, trân trọng cái tình uh, máu mủ của chúng ta yeah. <laughs> right, so yeah. love's thicker than water. I think it, it, family is more important than, than Outside. uh, outsiders yeah. and, and friends and girlfriends and stuff. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> right, uh, good. So that was very good. Uh, we're going to go for number two and should we start? Uh, yeah, so uh, how was it nice? Can you think of anything to use in a sentence like that? How do we use this? Well, be, mm -hmm. I guess I'm, I'm thinking of it more use in a paragraph. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, your girlfriend is very nice, but. Plus, is it bigger than water? Than water? Yeah. You should pay attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Maybe <laughs> that's right. Um, yeah, it would well, just be. We would use it in the idea that we're families more important than uh, than outsiders. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it would be it's kind of quite uh, poetic in, in its use for sure. Okay, so uh, what about the second one? Sure. All right. Okay. So we're going to ask you to write this down below. The second one is: It runs in one's family. It runs in one's family. Alright. Các bạn có thể comment xuống uh, idiom thứ hai mà thầy dùng cho IELTS speaking là gì đúng không ạ? Yeah, Cherry wrote down here family is more vital than others and I, I think that's a very appropriate way to, to talk about blood is thicker than water. Very very good. Um, but the new one, run in one's family. It runs in one's family. Don't forget your S's. It runs in one's family. Mm -hmm. Alright. So we might use this with uh, genetics. Um, my, uh, I, you might notice I've got a big nose. <laughs> Các bạn có thể thấy là thầy có một cái mũi rất là to đúng không ạ? Yeah, it's a big nose. And uh, uh, so you might say, yeah, it runs in, it runs in your family. Those big noses, they run oh, in your family. So I can say like, okay, I have a, a, a slanted eye or I have a 
you, you got a big no. Is, sure. Is that in your family? Sure. Oh, sure. Okay. Almost good, good stuff, guys. Uh, cherry and cherry. Oh, can I, I, I blame it in in Vietnamese for someone? Sure. Before we show them. À, các bạn có thể thấy là đây là một trong những cái đặc điểm giống nhau uh, của uh, những người mà ở trong cùng một gia đình ví dụ như là thầy Patrick thì có một cái mũi rất là to và uh, có phải là do di truyền hay không thì uh, nếu nó nếu là do trong di truyền mà cùng trong một nhà thì các đặc điểm này thì chúng ta có thể dùng cái idiom này uh, run a once family right I, by the way I want to note I did pronounce it runs, I put a little S in there, it runs in one's family, uh, in uh, one's family. So it runs in your family, yeah. Big noses run in my family. My dad's got a big nose, I got a big nose, my grandfather's got a big nose, a lot of big noses. <laughs> a lot of big noses. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what about the next one? The next one. Yeah. Number three, like two peas in a pod. Like two peas in a pot. Mm, what does it mean? Mm. Like two peas in a pot. Oh, my brother and sister are like a two peas in a pod. Oh, mm. two sister. Brothers? Maybe it depends on the family. My brother and sister were two peas in a pod. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, can you write it down? Yeah, two peas in a pod. Like. Oh, okay. Two peas in a pod. Uh, viết cái ý điểm này xuống không và nó có ý nghĩa là như thế nào nhỉ? One more time. Like two peas in a pod. Like two peas in a pod. Đây là một cái ý điểm mà chúng ta rất là hay dùng đúng không nào? Uh, I think they are commenting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we would use this when we're talking about. Uh, we could use this with family members, or we could even use it with friends and stuff. When we're we're talking about them being very similar, very uh, uh, comfortable with each other, and uh, yeah, they're like two pieces mm. in a pod. They get along very well together. Oh, I think in Vietnamese we say um, you look like each other, like mm -hmm. a two drop of waters, like mm -hmm. just like two drops. I'm not sure it means the same look, two peas in a pod. Oh. I, th I, I think it's more about getting along with each other. And, uh, oh, being, oh, I see. And, and, and getting along. That's what I think it's closer to. Mm. Yeah. So, like two peas in a pod, did you guys write it down? Come on, man. Don't get lazy now. We got, I, you guys got to keep working. I think the internet is my... All right. Well, should we give them the answer? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. All right. Like two peas in a pod. Like two peas. Giống như hai hạt đậu trong địa một cái vỏ đúng không nào? Vậy thì khi mà chúng ta mở hạt đậu ra thì chúng ta có thể thấy là cái hai cái hạt đậu ở bên trong cái quả đậu thì mở ra thấy hai hạt đậu bên trong rất là giống nhau thì đây là một cái idioms chỉ cái sự giống nhau của hai chị em của hai anh em uh, trong một gia đình vậy thì chúng ta miêu tả thì sẽ là cùng một thế hệ chứ sẽ không miêu tả hai người bị khác tuổi nhau nhiều vì trông giống nhau mà đúng không nào? Okay. Right. Good, good. We got one more for today. Mm, yeah. We're doing pretty well. Yeah, so let's do it. A, a last one, we'd like you to write it down. A spitting image of someone. He's a spitting image of his mother. The spitting? A spitting image. Oh, spitting. <laughs> oh, the, no. The spitting image? Sure. It's okay. Sure, you can use both. Oh, also. All right. So I am the spitting image spitting of image my mother. Of... Yes. Okay. So like. Um, Your mother's I... very beautiful. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so I go to the market. Uh, normally people call me by and say, Hey, hey, your mom bought this for me. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, so they can tell that I'm really just like my mother. Sure. All right. Yeah. The spitting image of someone. The spitting image of someone. Can you, did you write it down? Come on, you, you, you guys are getting so lazy. I can't believe it. Uh, the spitting image of my father. The spitting image of my grandfather. He is the spitting image of someone. Yeah. Spitting. Ew. I know, it's so gross. English is so gross. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, the spitting image. The, let's give it a little, make it a little closer. The spitting image of someone. The spitting image of someone. 
So, uh, yeah, so, so I, kept, I don't. Yeah, I kept spitting there. Oh, so, so I think, uh, theo mình nghĩ thì là, uh, cái hai cái này. So, this one it look like each other, this one it look like each other. So, I think like, we can see like different age and then they're like quite the same age, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is they they, they look very similar to one mm. another, mm. and these are people who get along very well. Mm. Okay. I think that's how it is. Mm. Okay. Cái này thì rất là gì ạ? À? Uh, rất là giống nhau còn cái này thì là có thể là gì ạ? À? Uh, rất là hòa hợp với nhau nhiều hơn uh, thì mình có thể dùng cái này. Okay. Are you sure? Pretty sure. We're gonna double check this. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go to Google and double check it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, và đây là một trong những cái điểm về uh, idioms về family mà chúng ta có thể dùng trong uh, cái gì IELTS speaking. Yep. So anything you want to share about these topics uh, that well, they can nice. add on some vocabularies? Hmm. Well, with all of these phrases, uh, with all of these idioms, it's really good, I think it's always good to be honest and talk about yourself. So if you and your sister are good friends and you love each other, you might use the idiom, my sister and I are like two peas in a pod, okay? And, and it would be a very eloquent way, a very uh, um, poetic way of describing your relationship with your sister. And, and, and so try to use these the best way you can. Um, my, and, and, and try to make it true. My, my, uh, my father and I are a spinning image of one another. All right? And if, if you use these uh, to talk about yourself in a true way, I think it's easier to remember and I think it'll be very successful. I think uh, that's all for now. I think that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, mình hy vọng là mình hy vọng rằng những cái uh, idioms này sẽ giúp ích các bạn trong uh, kỳ thi IELTS speaking sắp tới. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'm going to see you in very near future. Bye for now. Thank you, Lana. Yes, everyone. If you like what you saw, it would be great if you shared it out to your friends and family. Uh, it's also fantastic if you can give us a like down below and give us a comment if you like what you saw. If there's something you would like, you would enjoy seeing in the future, give us a comment. Tell us, uh, tell us, and we will do our best to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Bye bye.